Welcome to this briefing on laboratory safety guidelines. The electrical and computer engineering department of Northwest University requires the students, staffs, and faculties to follow the basic general laboratory safety rules in all department operated labs. Using laboratory equipment to perform any kind of experiments contains some element of risk, particularly in power systems lab. Safe working habits are important for your safety and the safety of people around you. Remember, electric shocks can be fatal. General Laboratory Safety Rules Smoking, including electronic cigarettes, is prohibited in all laboratories. Shoes shall be worn that provide full coverage of the feet and appropriate personal clothing shall be worn in laboratories. Please ensure that the fabric of your clothing is not prone to fires. Students shall be familiar with the locations and operation of safety and emergency equipment such as emergency power-off, emergency telephones, and emergency exits. Do not displace or remove laboratory equipment without instructor or technician authorization. Never open or remove power of equipment in the laboratories without instructor authorization. If for a special reason, the cover must be left on, a barrier and a warning notice are required. In case of emergency, call NSU Campus Security at extension 1231 or 6042 or dial the National Emergency Helpline at 999. Electrical Safety Guidelines No laboratory should be performed without laboratory instructor present. Before equipment is made live, circuit connection and layout should be checked by the instructor. Never make any changes to circuits without first isolating the circuit by switching off and removing connections to the supplies. Disconnect the power source before implementing or repairing electrical equipment. Voltages above 50 volt RMS AC and 50 volt DC are always dangerous. Extra precautions should be considered as voltage levels are increased. When it is necessary to handle electrical equipment that is plugged in, be sure hands are dry and when possible wear non-conductive gloves, protective clothes and shoes with insulated soles. Never handle electrical equipment when hands, feet or body are wet or perspiring or when standing on a wet floor. Equipment producing a tingle or found to be faulty in any way should be reported immediately and not used until it is in inspected and declared safe. In power and high voltage lab, if it is safe to do so, work with only one hand, keeping the other hand at your side or in your pocket, away from all conductive material. This precaution reduces the likelihood of accidents that result in current passing through the chest cavity. When it is necessary to touch electrical equipment, use the back of your hand. Thus, if accidental shock were to cause muscular contraction, you would not freeze to the conductor. Do not keep foods, drinks or any highly flammable liquids near electrical equipment. Please remember that all sanitizing liquids and disinfectants are flammable, so please be cautious when using these items in the lab. If water or a chemical is spilled on the equipment, shut off power at the main switch or circuit breaker and unplug the equipment. Remove metal bracelets, bangles, rings or watch straps from your hands. Do not use metallic ruler on workstation. Use extension cords only when necessary and only on a temporary basis. Do not use damaged cords, cords that become hot or cords with exposed wearing. Inform the instructor about damaged cords. Know the correct handling procedures for batteries, cells, capacitors, inductors, and other high energy storage devices. Report accidents as soon as possible to the department chair, department secretary, or the faculty in charge of the lab. Emergency response What should be done in case of an electric shock? Each lab has an emergency power off button. Localize the emergency power off button in your lab at the beginning of the semester. A serious electrical shock can make a person unconscious. 
immediately turn off the electrical power source if the victim is still in contact with the electrical current. If it is too risky or you cannot disconnect the power source, push in the emergency power off button. When you provide help, do not touch a victim that is still in contact with the power source. In response to a burn, hold burn skin under cool running water or immerse in cool water until pain subsides. Use compress if running water isn't available. For medical support, call NSU Medical Center at extension 6220. In case of electric fires, try to disconnect the electrical power source if possible. Do not put yourself at risk. Do not use water on electrical fire. The fire detection system is comprised of centrally connected smoke detectors. In case of fire, the system automatically calls the fire department. When the fire alarm sounds, you need to evacuate the building immediately. Never assume the alarm is false or use an elevator to exit during an active fire alarm. Thank you. Always ensure your safety and safety of those who are around you.